This video is a, it's a game changer, folks. A real game changer. I personally like to look put together. I like to look like I put thought into my outfits, even when I didn't. And I really like to look luxurious and expensive. And today I'm going to show you how you can achieve that. I think a lot of people think it means just buying like a Gucci belt and tossing it over a pair of jeans. I don't think that buying a designer item makes you look expensive. I think there's a lot more to it. And today we're gonna go over all of the ways you can achieve that. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up before we get started. Okay, let's get right into it. With a little bit of awareness and mental preparation, we can eliminate things like decision fatigue from the everyday act of getting dressed and not knowing what to wear and as a result, not looking great. I think looking expensive is really achievable no matter what your budget, given that you prepare properly. Let's talk about fast fashion. Fast fashion is based around nothing more than the psychological pain that consumer will experience when looking at a price tag and seeing a high price point. So what they do is they make the price points really, really low at the expense of both quality and style. The idea that buying fast fashion is going to save you money is a complete lie. And the biggest problem with it is that it makes it really hard for you to develop a personal sense of style since styles are always changing. And this means that you're going to be buying a lot more, a lot more frequently than you would if you were to be investing in high quality pieces. Okay, let's do a little lesson, a little lesson in ourselves or like fashion in our lives. Divide up the circle with all of the different ways that you spend an average day. What we're going to identify here is how do you actually spend your time? I spend a lot of time working, which means I'm maybe not wearing pants. I'm wearing loungewear, which means that I actually should spend a little bit more on my loungewear and make sure that it's good quality and it can stand the test of time since I'll be wearing it so often. This is super personal to each and every person. And that's why doing that chart is really effective. Things like trend pieces and special event bags or dresses, for me, they don't make a lot of sense to invest in because I don't attend a lot of special events and I'm definitely not gonna wear green shoes every day. This is the explanation of cost per wear. Basically, this is the cost of an item divided by the amount of times that you wear it. And when you start looking at the pieces you invest in, whether they cost a lot or a little, you'll start looking at how often you're going to wear it, and that can help you justify the price and eventually start to own things that are higher quality and much more desirable. For example, I've started to buy designer jeans. These are in the two to $300 price range, which always seemed really insane but I used to spend about 70 to $100 on a pair of top top jeans that I really didn't love. And since I switched to the capsule wardrobe mentality, I started spending more on each piece, but I have less items in my closet by a lot, and each item lasts me for years. So coming back to this chart, I'm also going to take a look at what colors I feel great in, what colors make me feel beautiful. And of course, I also like to take a look at the hardware I enjoy. I wear gold hardware because my skin is olive and it has green undertones. So that's what's going to make me glow. But if you have pink undertones, you're going to notice that silver is your best friend or white gold. Now, even if you don't have the budget to go shopping today, it's okay. We can have an awareness of what types of pieces would be really smart investments to add to our wardrobe. And that can really help you build confidence when shopping. Now this is pure gold. Monochromatic is a lifestyle. This is a really good thing to do and to know how to do, to bring all one shade into an outfit or stick to strictly one color and one color only. This makes you look really expensive and put together and it becomes really easy and practical to do if you really enjoy one color like black or all gray like me. In a moment where I'd be wearing sweats, I will make sure that they match top and bottom. This does two things. It makes you look very cohesive. It makes your style look seamless and put together, even though you're in sweatpants. Of course, it's easy to look good when you plan to, but when you don't plan to and you're going to go throw on sweats, this is when monochromatic dressing is a really great way to elevate your style and make you look expensive in a moment where you would probably look your worst, if I may. This is a real game changer because you might not have paid attention to this before I mentioned it, and then you will never stop noticing it now that I've said it. This is hardware. Hardware can be found on jeans, it can be found on handbags. You'll see it on the backs of shoes and the zippers, also on jewelry, of course. The idea is to use your jewelry as a baseline and then make every other piece of hardware match in your bag and in your shoes, and any other jacket or accessory should also have a similar or exact hardware. This will make you look very, very elegant and put together in a very subtle way that not everybody will notice, but you certainly will. And people around you won't exactly be able to put their finger on why you look so good. 
you'll notice that you have buying habits and wearing habits. And when you go to add new pieces to your wardrobe or to your jewelry, you know what to look for. If you always wear gold, then a bag with gold hardware could be a really great investment and vice versa with silver. I think I've seen a lot of mixed metals lately and I really like this as long as you have a piece that can bring both silver and gold into your outfit. Now you notice how all of these are structural ideas for how you can look more expensive that don't actually involve like a certain piece of clothing or a designer item or anything like that. This is my next point. I think it's really important. These kind of underwear, we all remember wearing these when we were younger. And now that we are women, they don't look that great. <laughs> they don't look the same. They're not made for a woman's body and putting this kind of underwear underneath dresses or fitted pants and this is going to completely diminish your feminine charm. So the solution for this is to wear shapewear. There are many different types of shapewear like a tank top that smooths out your waist and makes you look thinner or a pair of spanks which are kind of like shorts that will make your body look very very slim and slender through the thigh and waist. To get the most extreme results, you need a corset. This is a waist trainer and this will really shape your body and give you lots of curves. This wardrobe of shapewear has taken me some time to invest in and everybody, no matter your age or your body type, you can benefit from shapewear in some way. It's just finding the right pieces for you. So always try your stuff on and see what it does to your body. And if you like it, a lot of the time you'll realize your waist will be like three times smaller instantly. I love shapewear because it can make you look so hot right away. For a beginner, if you want to get started with smooth undergarments, I highly recommend investing in lace thongs. These are extremely affordable because they're not marketed as shapewear, but they have that effect. They are really, really smooth underneath your clothing. And now you don't have panty lines, which is exactly the way it should be. Nobody should know what's happening underneath your clothing. And I love that the clothes you already own can look that much better with the correct undergarments. This one might seem the most simple, but it's like super overlooked. This is basic care for your items, making sure there's no lint, but most importantly, no wrinkles. Wrinkles are the thing that is like a dead giveaway and you might think it doesn't matter, but it like definitely is noticeable to everybody. I love my steamer. Actually, I love this and my D-pillar. You guys know I use this on sweaters and leggings and like anything that would get pilled. And I steam things when I know they are prone to wrinkles and it makes a huge difference in the way my outfit looks every single time. So there you go. Those are my tips on how to look more expensive or at least a starting point for some of my tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like this content. I will make more of it. Comment below and let me know what you feel you're best in, what is like your absolute go-to outfit. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.